Hey everyone, welcome to Liar Tips. My previous video was about three features of Blade that you might not know about and you loved it very very much. That's why I am also bringing additional three features of Blade that you might not know about. So now let's directly jump into it. The first thing is additional attributes or the Blade directives that you might not know about which are checked, disabled, required etc. So let us look at this checked directive. First of all, let me go over here in lartips.test and it is inside this home controller and here I am passing welcome. Here I am passing a user and this user has one role. A user can have multiple roles but for this example I have only taken one role. And all the roles also passed over here. Now let me go inside here and you can see here the select role over here. There are multiple roles shown in the drop down over here like this. But now let's say before if we wanted to select the role of the current user or the past user that I passed from the controller over here I want that to be automatically selected. So before we had to do it like this. So here we have if the past user roles contains ID of this role over here which we are looping over then it is selected otherwise it is null which means we are selecting the current users role we had to do it like this but now we can just change it to like this we are just trying to select this so instead of this we can just do here at the rate selected and we will pass this thing over here like this so let me just show you this before so like this if we just did it like this then if you come here then this role ab is automatically selected so instead of this we can do it like this and now we can remove this above one and you can see here it looks much more cleaner we don't have to write that conditional logic now let me save it come here and refresh the page then also you can see here the same role is selected not only selected we also have checked disabled and other let me also show you of the checked one so here i have another for each loop over here i am looping over this checkbox this is type checkbox and this like this now also before here if we wanted to check so let me show you this over here it is showing me the checkbox over here and if we wanted to check it then let's say we had to do it like this let me just copy this come here and if this is the rule is matching then we'll say checked otherwise we'll say null and you can see here ab is automatically checked again now instead of this we can do here at the rate checked like this and just pass this thing over here and we can remove this save it and refresh then you can see here it is working the same way and now let's move to the second tip of the blade which is service injection there is at the rate inject blade directive that you can use in order to inject the object of certain classes inside a blade file it will be very useful in order to retrieve a service from the laravel service container so let me show you that over here i have created user service over here inside this services folder which is inside this app folder app services now here let me create a method which is get first user ad admin user and then i'll just return this user where type admin first like this now let's say we want to access this user service on a blade file and how can we do that so for that let me go over here in the welcome and i have already created this first admin blade and it, it doesn't have anything over here so let me include that first of all so here let's say include and let's say first admin over here now in order to access that class so that class that user service class that we have created i can just do inject and the name of the variable that we want and this full path of the class now this class will be instantiated and will be assigned to the admin variable and now if we want to access this get first admin user then we can do it like this over here and i am getting the name of that first admin user now let me come here in the lara tips and here you can see the lara tips before it wasn't here and now it is here because we have injected it over here and let me just show you that by commenting this out and you can see here that is gone and if i again uncomment it then it appears over here now let us move to the third blade tip which is this 
custom if statements by default in laravel there is at the rate production if you see here at the rate production this blade directive is already present and whatever we write over here will be only available in the production environment but there isn't for staging or local so let us create for local so here we'll go here in the app service provider app providers and app service provider and let us go here inside this boot method let me go at the end of the boot method and here i'll say blade if and now we'll give the name of that directive let's say local and we'll pass a closure over here and we'll say return app and we'll say environment is local like this and this must match the tnv here so here it must be local this should match this okay so here currently we are in the local environment so here i'll say at the rate local and at the rate end local like this and here i'll say we are in local environment now if i come here then we can see that over here but let's say if we haven't just defined it over here and come here and refresh then you can see here at the rate local and at the rate in local all these things would be printed but instead if we just write it then it will actually show whatever is inside this one and also for example let me just change this to production and come here then it will again hide that because we are currently in the production environment and this is inside the local directive so it is not showing so i hope you enjoyed this video also like my previous one and if you want more videos like this then let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe thank you for watching have a great day bye